day, I think this is the fifth day in the experiment, and I'm drying out the uh, anode basket, and I've opened the cell back up, take a look at this thing, uh, we've got a layer forming in there. Uh, there's some sediment down here at the very bottom and the uh, black powder starting to settle out of the liquid there. Here's all the material that I've got depleted so far. It's a bucket full. Here is our rinse water. If you notice down in there that settled out nicely and that black powder down on the bottom will be uh, some of the precious metals that we want to recover. What I'll do is I'll siphon the, uh, the water off into my waste treatment bucket and treat that. And this will settle also pretty much just about like the water, rinse water did, but being more viscous, the acid is more viscous, it will take much more time for the black powder to settle out of this electrolyte. I've got the cell ready to uh, be placed in operation. Over here, if you look, this is all the metal that I have left out of the uh, 5,679 grams that I calculated that I had. And I'm thinking that's gonna be enough to get a, a yield out of our uh, experiment here. Uh, I still got three bins full of gold plated scrap down there. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, get through all of those in this series. It would take me a month. It's taking me five days to get this far. I uh, changed out my rinse bowl back here to a uh, corningware dish because this one developed a crack in it right there. So uh, let's go ahead and put some gold plated metal in here. First run of day five. And now we're gonna lower this. I've got the uh, cathode connected over here, anode connected here to the positive side. Here we go, let's lower this down. It's first batch of the day here. There we go, we pegged the meter almost as we dunk gold-plated scrap down into our electrolyte. All right, there were some questions concerning using this process for computer scrap. And uh, I don't think that's possible because the substrate has to be a metal substrate like we have here with the gold plated stuff. Computer scrap is a fiberboard substrate that won't conduct electricity. So we can't use this process for computer scrap. One of the questions in the comment section was, could I just leave the basket in place and remove the material as it becomes depleted? And the answer is, I'm doing it right here. It can be done, but as you see, there's stuff dripping off of there. If I raise that basket up and let it drip out of the basket, then I don't have that going on. But to answer the question as to whether or not we can uh, pull the stuff out while the basket is in the electrolyte, the answer to the question is yes. Someone else made a suggestion about storing the, uh, the uh, anode basket in the bucket of water adding a spoon 
of baking soda to neutralize any trace amounts of acid that might be in with the basket because the basket is very thin. It's a very fine mesh. And we could probably get by with a little thicker mesh on this basket. But it's held up so far real well. Uh, but that's a good suggestion is put a little bit of baking soda in with the basket as it uh, spends the night in the water there. That's not a bad suggestion. All right, if you look here, yeah, that, that piece has got a little ways to go, it looks like. If you look over here, we're at the end. This is all I got left out of the uh, amount of material that I started with. So I'm going to try to get this down into the basket carefully. And we're going to do this last batch of a few pieces left over. Lower it down in there and let it deplate. This should take about 10 minutes. And then this, uh, this group of gold-plated material will be done. We've got the last bit depleted. Pull it up out of the uh, electrolyte there. And now what I'm gonna do is disassemble the cell. And we're gonna take our saturated electrolyte out and put it out by the fume hood to continue our work. All right, let's just take this and we'll dump this last few bits into our waste container here. And then I'm gonna rinse it off as before with some tap water. Try to get all the uh, black powder off of here that I can. I'm gonna move the electrolyte with the gold in it out to the fume hood now. Get rid of the last little bit of scrap here to our waste container. All right, I'm gonna move the uh, used rinse water over here. I'm gonna bring up our bucket of rinse water. Pour the rest of this solution now into this bucket. It's going to contain particles of uh, depleted gold, so we want to recover this. Pour the rest of the uh, Scrap over here. This is just junk. Get rid of it. I'm adding some blocks of ice to this rinse water. Keep it cool. All right, here we go. I've got my protective equipment on here to prevent any spatters. I'm getting in my face. What we're going to do now is we're going to pour the sulfuric acid with the gold into this five gallon bucket of water very carefully.
I'm gonna rinse it out with some water. Might see some spattering and steaming. rinse water that I had. Get all that black gold down in there. I'm going to give this a stir. Right, the next step will be to wait for this to settle completely. It's been settling now for about two hours. As you can see, it's starting to clear up a little bit in there. We'll let this settle overnight and then we'll collect our uh, black powder and refine it into pure gold. This will complete part five of the series. I've got uh, the 5,700 or so grams of gold plated material deplated. We've got it out there settling in our waste bucket. And once all that material settles completely, I'll siphon off the waste solution into my waste treatment bucket and we'll treat that just like we do gold refining waste. And then we'll get our black solids out of the bucket down off the bottom there. And we'll gather it up, collect it, and refine it into a nice pure gold bead. Okay, this will complete part five. Thank you for watching.